I'm familiar with your name, but. Oh yes. Um, where would I know you from? Or from online I stuff? New, or? I was in the news recently. I got fired from my church. Oh. Uh, writing about hell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Writing that was it, because I read a bunch hell. of stuff on that. Hell. hell. Another H word. Yes. Yes. I, I just I'm just walking around rolling video and trying to you know catch yeah. some of the cool catch cool. some of the scenes so you mind i don't mind at yeah, all. No, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking tonight at uh six <laughs> o'clock and then then the host thing is we're, so what's your job oh, she um hell i'm gonna tell my story a little bit about my story yeah <laughs> oh, good to hell with it. <laughs> to, to hell with it. um hey, uh, something like so ex exactly yeah, I piss people off by saying the wrong thing so I'm like partner. Right, right. And yeah. you're in what, what church? Is, is that a Methodist church? I wasn't a Methodist, yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm still part still part of the Methodist church, but uh, uh, I live in Tennessee now. I was living here in, in North Carolina and going to Duke Divinity School, and uh, now I'm in Tennessee. So where in Tennessee? Near uh, Cleveland, near Chattanooga. Okay. Yeah. I'm in Nashville. Are you? Yeah. Okay, good. So I didn't come through there, though, because I went to Cincinnati first to come down with these guys. Okay, so you went around. Yeah, my, my wife's mother lives there and so I dropped the wife and daughter there and spent the night and then got up early in the morning oh, came wow. with him yesterday. We've been yeah. rolling for 20 years friends and cool. Church of the Savior stuff and uh, Project Savior. Yeah, I just I, don't I, have no I, better I, are you familiar with them? Church of the Savior? I'm not. D.C.? Oh, in, in Washington, D.C. Okay. Uh, servant Leadership School. Yeah, okay. okay that's where they started. Oh, neat. All right. And your name is? Larry. Larry. Hey. Larry Okay, yeah, Chad Holtz, yeah. good to meet you. And, and Dale. 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 Sure. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, the Church of the Savior thing, I'd, I was there for the John Stewart rally thing mm -hmm. in October. Yeah. And uh, and so I hung out at the Potter's House, which is a coffee yeah. house ministry that the that the uh, Church of the Savior does. And I saw this guy sitting there pretty much the whole day like I was the day before the rally. And then I saw him here. <laughs> I said, wow. You're not from Washington, are you? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's neat. <laughs> so, was that your first? Uh, were you like interning at that church? I was a student pastor. Student pastor. Um, so I was there for four years. I was our senior pastor, and um, uh, I had been writing. I, I blog a lot, and uh, I had been writing for about two years. I had been challenging notions of like uh, nationalism in the church, and you know. Things like saying the Pledge of Allegiance in a worship service, you know, I, um, <laughs> the 4th of July, I wrote something about that. Yeah. Uh, challenging our Methodist uh, policy on, on homosexuality and uh, being more affirming. And, and, and I was at a rural uh, church that, you know, uh, weren't there yet. They, yeah. and, but, but these weren't things I was saying from the pulpit necessarily at all. These were things I was saying in my blog and writing about, hoping to, hoping to generate conversation. And even if they were reading it, which I didn't really know they were reading it, I had hoped that they would um, engage it and begin to question yeah. things. But and I say uh, I'll send people over to that to your blog from from my blog where I'll uh, oh so yes. put this video. Yeah, it's uh, chadholtz.net. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm theological.org. Okay, cool, cool. Good name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I grabbed that early. That was yeah, like, definitely. Too. Yeah, um, yeah. The name of my blog is Dancing on Saturday. So. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, yeah. And then the last straw, the straw that broke camel's back, was a piece I wrote called "What I Lost Losing Hell," and uh, sort of my track through evangelicalism and, and sort of the traditional view of hell. So where was you, what are your roots in? I was a Nazarene pastor's kid. Um, <clears throat> And uh, yeah, raised. I just found out that they were kind of Wesleyan. They are Wesleyan. Rooted. Yeah, like a, a couple of years ago. I didn't. They know are that. holiness. They yeah. they were uh, they kind of branched out of uh, the holiness movement, uh, but very much Wesleyan. Yeah. yeah, which is why I'm still like Methodism appeals to me that I'm I'm a Wesleyan. You can you can also be an Episcopalian. Can, exactly, because you can actually do some of these things. Exactly. And, you know. In fact, in fact, I think I feel so much at home at an Episcopal church. Really, I, I, yeah. I do. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you I said got you're at six. Of, you're doing your, your thing at, at six, six tonight. Wh at which? Location? It's at the social justice, uh, the gazebo thing. Oh, the okay. Metal, tin roof, whatever. Yeah. So. Shane Anigans. Shane down there. Right? Yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly. Chadisms and shenanigans. <laughs> uh, six. <laughs> well, good. Thank you, man. For yeah, one of the things I'm going to 
try to do on July the 4th is like in Nashville, go to a few churches, maybe find the ones that have the biggest flags, you know, flying or something, or sure. maybe even find, you know, what they have on the front of their bulletin, or they have those bulletins for, you know, July yeah. 4th and all that. Right, right. I yeah. should have started that in Memorial Day. Get, that's sort of like the nationalist Lent period. Memorial well, Day to July 4th. <laughs> well, I think, I think I started to really make my church nervous when my first Memorial weekend um, at church, I, I walked in and, and my worship leader, who um, great heart, he, he, and they were just doing what they've always done. I walk in and the entire kneeling rail and the altar table is decked in red, white, and blue. Oh, no. And right next to the brass cross on the altar, uh, where I would put communion, uh -huh. is uh, a, a basket oh. of, of, of little flags <laughs> coming out of the basket. And uh, um, so in I, tension, I, you dip your flag and exactly, wave it. exactly. Uh, but I, I could understand like the the Old Testament prophets who would like rip their robes, you know, like the old. <laughs> yeah. like, so I was just having this existential crisis moment where I saw all of this, and, but it worked. I mean, you know, I, I called him up and and I, I said, Hey, Alan, you know, I, I, this is beautiful. It's obviously you put a lot of work into it, and, absolutely, um, a lot of design. The one I minute said, manager thing. Ex yeah, exactly. Yeah, this, said, is this is really beautiful. Well I, I'm just, I'm really. Yeah, but it sucks up but, but theologically. But. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what, but what if we just moved it over to a side table to sort of showcase it on the side here? Um, <laughs> yeah. Because and, and I said, yeah, I said, I may have an altar call after my sermon if I feel so led, yeah. and I don't want to, I don't want to confuse don't, don't people that they're getting saved. <laughs> like, who's saving us here? Is it, is it Jesus or is it America? Yeah. Um, yeah. And so. I guess well, you read Howard Watch stuff, right? Well, I, I went to Duke. Yeah, yeah. So. No, you would have to. I was thinking that. And yes. What you're saying, dude. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He's he's not very happy with those things too. You know. He, I, I don't know what it was. That I was watching something where he was looking at some church bulletins and said, "Now that's idolatry." Yes. And that's what was the, I, I forget the middle way. You know, there was a, a, a third category he had, like yeah. <laughs> idolatry and nationalism and oh no, a civic. Mm. No way. Yeah. Civic religion? Mm. Civic religion, yes. Yeah. Civil religion. Yeah. Or civic? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I forget what philosophical category. What is the uh, organization that he helped get started, the Ecclesi... Uh, Harwas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, I think in Chicago, right? Yeah. 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 Um, Ecclesia. Ecclesia. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are you... Is that I'm not going? part of it. Yeah. I, I think it's still going. Yeah. Right. There's a guy in Cincinnati that was on the board of that. Yeah. Now you're in Cincinnati. Yeah. Yeah. There's two, I met two guys here from Cincinnati who have both planted house churches. Oh, Kevin Rains. Yes. Big guys. Big big guys. Tattoos <laughs> on their arms. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and there's another one actually was over there. Is the other guy's name Eric? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Okay. I think that was Eric. And then, uh, um, you know, over the Rhine, the music group. Yeah. They're they're from there, and Nick, uh, Rick Hordinski is here he was their drummer okay and he's got a thing going late tonight yeah we're, we're actually part of that community i'm kind of an episcopal ecumenical component of that we do uh espresso coffee house community coffee houses and uh we've got lots of books we've had books for years now, now being a, a uh, one of the things i love about the episcopal church is i, I love liturgy Mm -hmm. um, are you a part of that liturgical Actually, kind of thing? Actually, do you know or? the Fresh Expressions movement? Heard, heard of, it, of that but in I'm England? Not, it's yes. like for the last uh, uh, the bishops, uh, the archbishop has coined that phrase, Fresh Expressions. It's kind of an emergent uh -huh. way of looking at it. house churches, theology pubs, any kind of creative, you know, intentional sure. community stuff. So I'm the I'm a consultant to the diocese on the Fresh Expressions. Okay. Initiative and there's I work with a Episcopal priest that's here, and uh, so we do. We're putting together, you know, small conferences, resources, um, you know, yeah. workshops, and I'd be interested. In, I'm really interested in, in finding out uh, an innovative way to marry uh, high church liturgy with with uh, congregational low church mentality in a <laughs> sense of. Uh, yeah having a house church or mm -hmm. uh, uh, emergent sort of uh, uh, non-traditional church, but yet embracing uh, the, um, sacred forms of liturgy that have yeah. sustained us for... There's some other people here. There, uh, John uh, Myers is from, you know, Coda? 
I know of it. Okay. Yeah. There are people here from Dakota. Okay. And uh, John uh, Myers, and there's another guy. Uh, I forget to pronounce his name. It's it's Ellie Ellison. Yes. You know yes. That guy? Ellison. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I, Cruz. I, I, yeah. Uh -huh. Right. He's he's in a track. <coughs> Those two guys are in a Pioneer Missional track. Mm -hmm. That's in the Diocese of Olympia. That they've gone to non-denomination. I mean, they've gone. They haven't gone to an Episcopal seminary, okay. but they're in the ordination track. Huh. It's called Pioneer Missioners. So they're accepting a different way of getting there. This is stuff they're doing in England. They're called wow. Pioneer Missioners, and so uh, those people are here. There's a woman actually from Portland who I stayed with when I was out at the conference, and she's gone to uh, New Hampshire or Vermont or something hmm. uh, as an Episcopal priest wow. she's just gone through seminary. But they're basically in um, doing Episcopal liturgy in intentional community and uh, street street church, house church. I need to talk to that. This is great. This is, yeah. that's, cause I'm not so sure I, I was up for ordination. Uh, like yeah. next year, yeah. but um, I'm not so sure that I'll where I'm at uh, that that'll work for me yeah. and where I'm at now. Um, and uh, not unless something really radically changes in 2012 with our general conference for the Methodist Church. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's it's wild. The Presbyterians. Yeah. Uh, We're all dropping like flies. And well, <laughs> and uh, you know, and all the surveys. I mean, all the. All the all the this generation. What do you think about this? What's the big issue? And they're going like, get over it. Yes. You know, like yeah. I mean, that's Grow that's that's someone yeah. else's issue. It's not mine. Yeah. And they can be conservative in a lot of other ways, but mm -hmm. hey, you know, I've got friends that I know, and that's not what I sense is going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. End yeah. of story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not get all. Right. <laughs> you know, this, that's me. The communicast.tv is like another domain that ends up at the same place. So cool. it ends up on my blog there. Awesome. So I'm going to turn that into like a, you know, hooked into YouTube and, yeah. and show my stuff there. Are you guys on Facebook? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm on Facebook. Any... <laughs> okay. He's and on they're everything. on Facebook. He's on everything. Actually, uh, <laughs> let me see if I got him. That's ridiculous. I got him in my car. Uh, but I'll, I'll bring something about your booth. Yeah. Um, the, um, We've got a presence, uh, the Espresso Guild, ESPR, so is our okay. coffee thing. Uh, Habitat for Community is, is our third place community coffee house uh -huh. thing. And uh, freshexpressions.cc is, uh, is a new blog. We just started up this thing in the diocese in February. Huh. But I'll, 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 I'll remember your find name. Find me on me. Facebook, yeah. and so yeah. that's the easiest yeah. way and to find me. Yeah, and link some stuff in there because uh, awesome. um, it is a... By the way, have you read that Andrew Morris? Uh, love is not an Andrew Marin. Marin, or, yeah. Um, love is not an orientation. Yeah. I'm not. I've I've read probably enough of it in snippets from other people okay. that I can yeah. say I've read the book. Yeah. It's interesting. Our bishop, you know, Tom Breidenthal, has written a same-sex union book in the Episcopal Church. Huh. So he's like, he taught at General Theological Seminary Ethics, and he's a very theological guy. Obviously, very. Into uh, the questions of you know common cup now and mm -hmm. all that kind of thing, uh, but he uh, so there's a lot of conversation, deeper conversation around that question in in our diocese. Yeah. So I resource a lot of books for that. And part of the one of the problems is that if you go into the I find you go into the conversation that's already polarized, right? and people can only speak from the certainty they, they yeah. want to have on either in is that if you have someone like that Morin guy saying hey I'm steeped in this biblical uh, tradition where the, this is how they have interpreted authorities interpreted for me so to be a faithful Christian I have to have this way of seeing scripture mm -hmm. you know? and so they're scripture only kind of in their orientation now you take that Wesley formula or Episcopal and you say okay this doesn't resonate with my experience it doesn't resonate with people I'm reading, it, you know, it doesn't. Re and, and so, how do I incorporate reason and experience into that yeah. solution I and mean, that right. question? And you don't have to come to a conclusion, but you have to start down that road and say, I have to honor, yeah. honor what seems to be going on. So sure. I, I think I actually gave that book to our bishop because I said, Hey, you, you know so much about text and 
are i mean you know the people you're around are already sold and they have the conclusions and footnotes but you don't really know what it's like to be in this other scary place to mm -hmm. start questioning something that might open up every other question that you've grown up with it is scary yeah it's a so welcome to the goose right that's right <laughs> scary. that's right yeah. Yeah. Well, good. hey, I'm hey, really good. glad we hey, met Chad. Larry, yes, yeah, yeah, and right. Dale. Dale. All right, good, guys. Good to see you, Chad. Good to meet right. you both. Yeah. I, I hope we get to keep talking. No, 